Hi there, it's Karen here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to start working properly on the spring journal. Um, I've got my papers here ready. And I think all I'm going to get done today, it, I don't know how long this video will take, but I don't think it will be a really long one. Um, I want to put the signatures together today. I've been having to think about how many signatures I want to do. I would have quite liked to have just gone for an easy one and just done a single signature, but I've just got too many papers here. So I think it's going to end up being three. <laughs> Like the like the the music one, um, so I've got my two kits here. They're all um, cut to size and folded, as you can see. So that's the Spring Bird Song, which is the one by Janie B Journals, and this is the Artie Maze kit called Spring Watercolor. Um, so between the two, I've got seven pages of of this one, and I've got eight pages of this one. And that's partly because, um, for some unknown reason, I printed two of them twice and backed them with different papers on the back. So that's given me a couple of extras, which gives me 15 in total, which kind of clearly lends itself to three um, signatures, five in each. So I thought, well, maybe that, that would work quite well because there's a few other things I wanted to add. Um, and I've got some dyed papers here, so I've got some green dyed papers, so I thought, well, I'll do one of each of these in each signature, and one of each of the avocado dyed papers, because both colours go quite well in the kit, where you can't go wrong with green in the spring journal, really, can you? So, um, you know, the green will, pip, will pop up in, all, in both of the kits. So I'm just going to fold those ready. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make tucks with some of these. I'll have to think about that, so I'll come back to those. I might do. I didn't in the in the um, music journal, I just cut them to size, but I think maybe I'll be a little bit more creative with this one. I don't know. But the other um, things I'd like to get in the journal, or the other pages, I've got my three books that I, I think I showed you at the beginning when I was introducing the journal that I'd like to pull some pages from. So one of them is this one, is The Flowers of the Countryside by Marjorie Blamey. It's a beautiful book. I just love it. And I've just pulled out a few pages that I'd like to use, not necessarily as full-size pages, like, for instance, this one. I think I'm just going to cut this down, make it into a side tack or a belly band. And again, look at this. I mean, you know, I'd be spot for choice, really. And I am spot for choice in this whole book as to which bits, because there's quite a few of these, and I just pulled that out for now. Um, but I also wanted to see if I could use some full-size pages. I think this is another contender for a Betty Band, or is it a full-page one? Let's have a look. No, this is definitely, I just pulled this one out as a possible side tackle. It's pretty, I mean, it's very tall, so I don't really want to have to cut anything down too much, but we'll see. Um, what have we got here? I've just pulled out a multiple, so I've got another one here, look, gorgeous, pink, all goes with the pink, so that might go in as well. So I've just given myself a few options, and I have got three signatures now to fill, haven't I? So, so I thought I've got here um, a couple of full pages that I could possibly cut down um, and make into a, a page in the journal. And I was thinking I might hinge them to something. So you see I've got this one and then I've got this one. Now that's just a full page in itself, isn't it? That's just beautiful. So that could go in as a single page, just like that. Obviously I'm going to have to cut it down, but isn't he adorable? Look, can you see the little... Um, not sure what kind of mouse he is. So he's a harvest mouse or a... Yeah, it's probably more a field mouse or a harvest mouse. But he's adorable, so he's going in. So that's one page. I need three. Um, what have I got here? So I've got one that's a full-size page that I can use here, which I may hinge to something. If I find another page that would work, I'll hinge it to that, or I'll hinge it to something different. Not sure at the moment. So I've got that one. And I've got this one, which is very springy, the colours. I mean, it's all, all the greens. So I could possibly put these two together and make one page. And then what else did I pull out? I'm trying to remember what I did. So I've got another page that would go in as a single page, 
but I will need to fix it to something. I'm not a really big fan most of the time of turning them around and doing them like that because I think you lose the picture if it's the wrong way up. I don't really, if I can help it, I prefer not to have to do that. So if I can find another page to put this with, I will. I've got quite a lot of purple going on now, so if I'm going to try and have another look through, see if we can find something else that I can put um, with that page to make it into a full-size page. So I've got that. I'm not sure about that. And this one, they're not, they don't say spring to me particularly. Um, oh, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I'm going to have to be quite selective when I choose the papers for the belly band because they are just going to be absolutely wonderful to choose from. So many lovely ones. But what I'm looking for is a whole page. Something like that maybe would work. I would prefer to have a bit more going on, but I'm obviously going to have to cut it down, so it might not be an issue. Um... And it may not matter if there's other if, if there's um, some script or something on it because I'm going to have to come cut them down quite a bit. And maybe these these smaller pages, something like primrose, which is going to be perfect for for spring journal, isn't it? So maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, I'm, I'll uh, I'll put a page in there just to see if there's anything else springs out at me. Springs out at me. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, that, that wasn't intentional. You see, that's really pretty as well. But I would wouldn't want to cut off the top part of that, would I? I'd have to cut it from here and then I'd end up with well, I might not have that much script left by the time I've cut it down, I don't know. That's another option, isn't it? Although the other side is a bit autumnal looking if you can see. And then this one's very green and spring-like. Oh, hang on, what we got here? That's a pretty page. A little autumnal on the other side, but that is gorgeous. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying that all of these things are spring flowers. That would be going a bit far, really, wouldn't it? To, to claim that, but as long as they've got the colours. Okay. So I think that one is a definite possibility. Let's just see if I can see anything else that might work. Because I did like the yellow. There's more yellow. Ooh. Hmm. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, there's so many beautiful pages in this book. Hard to know where to choose, what to choose. I'm going to take this one. I thought, oh, it's a double. I'll just, I might just pull out the whole double. I have clipped some of the um, sewing in the middle, some of the stitching. So that might just be a page in itself. So maybe that one will go. <laughs> I have so many. I might leave the purple one in here. Alright, so that's just the one book. So I think out of this lot I should find oops, three signatures, shouldn't I? Not signatures. Three page one page for each signature is what I'm trying to say. Right, so put that one aside somewhere. But now I've got my Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. We're all familiar with this beautiful book. And I had this idea that as I'm gonna do three signatures, and as it's a spring journal. What about if I opened each signature with the word March, April and May? Not that there's anything inside the signature will necessarily be just March flowers or just May flowers or whatever. I just thought that would be quite nice to divide the signatures into March, April, May. The three months of spring, obviously. Um, I'm not a big fan of this page, that's the trouble. <laughs> but I have a few, and there are a lot of them that say March on the front. So, so I've got this one, which is rather nice, and that makes quite a nice page like that. So that might be March, although it doesn't have March on the front, does it? Oh, goodness me. Um, 
Well, I suppose the option I have is to add this and put it up here. Could do that, couldn't I? Right, so that's one, that's one signature. So that's that, signature number one. And signature number two. I mean, that is beautiful on its own. That's a gorgeous page. So yeah, I might do that as number one and that as number two. And I'll hinge those together like that. And then we go on to May. Now we're still in April. But isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah, I mean, these are just, these are just stunning. Not that, don't like that. <laughs> Let's move on from the snakes. And then we have May. And I think we can do something with these two pages from May. Yeah, I think they will make a nice third signature. And that's another gorgeous page. So, yeah. <sighs> I haven't really used an awful lot of this book before, but I think it's really coming into its own in the spring journal. Or it might come in, I might also be able to use it in the autumn journal. You never know if I get around to making one. Oh, well, where's this from? Oh, yeah, this is from the March. I don't know. I might use that for March as well. <laughs> so I've got some March pages. So that's another page for each signature. So how many have we got now? So we started with five from each of the kits, then two coloured ones, that's seven for each yes seven and then the two books so that's nine so if i this will make 10 pages for each signature um this is the one that my friend sent me if you remember um that she was clearing out her mum's bookcase um and she sent me this book saying you know if you'd like to use it in one in your in your journals you're welcome to do so so i have also picked out a few pages from this book it's amazing how how some of these books just lend themselves now these, as you can see, these pages are huge, much bigger than these ones. So I'm thinking I could actually fold them in half to make a single page. So oh, that's upside down. So I'm thinking possibly, I mean, they're not, it's not perfect, but I think it would work to fold them like that. And you've got You've got some uh, spring-like pages, and you know this would be a good page for a pocket and things like that. So there's one, and there's this one. That's really pretty, isn't it? So that one would work quite well as well, like that. They'll probably need a bit of trimming. They're a bit of rough around the edges, some of them. This one in particular, where I've cut them out or torn them out. And then I think I missed one. So I've got this one. It hasn't got an awful lot on it, but that's quite nice. Big dandelion. And that will go quite well in, in the March one. Because that's when I think they start to appear. Okay. And I go like that. So that's another page. So that gives us ten for each signature. So... I think that is plenty. Let's start putting them together, shall we? Right, so we've got... Because I've got a bit of work to do on some of these ones that need hinging, so I thought that would be enough, this video, just to get that sorted. So I've got one of these for each signature. And I haven't even cut them down yet, cut them to size, so that's something to be done too. Then we've got May, April. I'm going to spread them out a bit now. Because obviously they've got to be cut down quite a bit to fit. May, April and March. And then we've got possibly this one, I think. I don't know, because um, if they're going to be cut down, 
really it makes sense to cut this down here which means I'm going to lose the fact that they're joined together which is a bit of a shame so I might separate them and cut them where they need to be cut um, so I could use this one I use this one with this, combine this one and this one maybe. Um, I can't remember how many we've got of these. And then these two. One, two, and three. Yeah. So we have three of those. And then we've got so we've got eight and seven of these. So um, yeah, so I'm going to put this in the front signature. That one. I think I'll just fold that the other way. As long as I make sure that these two matching ones are in different signatures and this one can go in the middle and then I've got these two that are matching um, so they'll have to go in opposite signatures as well so this one will get an extra one from this kit and it might get the best, the fav my favourite as it's a bit different because I haven't got, I've got lots of floral bits. I might have to swap these around a little bit. Sorry, I'm just thinking. I've got no birds in this middle one um, from the bird song kit. So let's see. Got bird on that one, bird on that one, bird on that one. Let's swap it around a little bit. Make sure I've got a bird on each one. Yeah. Okay. And that kit. Right. Then we've got. Put it back the other way. I haven't decided which one's going in the middle yet, so I want to preempt things. Right. So that one, that one, and that one. And. That one, that one, and that one. All right, so we're getting there. There's a bit of, bit of work to be done to make sure everything is this, more or less the same size. Then we've got these ones. So I think, what should we do? I'll make this one have a side tuck this way. Which could be decorated with flowers from that gorgeous book, couldn't it? And then we'll... Oh, is that straight? Not, not as straight as I would like. Quite sure why this is hanging down. And then I'll cut it. I just fold it in half like that. Or I'll make this one a little bit of a shorter one. Yeah. So that can be a tuck. This can be a smaller one that I could attach something to. But I think I might just trim it lengthways. I don't want folds and tucks everywhere. I think that one will be fine. Shorten it a little bit. They don't have to be exactly the same as the kit ones, but not too too much bigger, I don't think. So it's about the same. 
quite sure why this doesn't feel straight. Oh well, never mind. So that one can go there. No, that one can go on this side. And then we'll have one with the tuck on this side. <clears throat> on here. go that side and then this one I'm just going to cut to size because I don't really like all that dark burnt bit on the top. I know a lot of people do but I don't so it's coming off. So let's see I'll just take off a bit Can be a bit bigger. And then it's definitely going to need cutting down this away. Yeah, I'll just take a bit off. So when it goes in the signature it'll stick out a bit more anyway, won't it? There we go. So that's that one. So that one's cut to size. And then I think the middle signature on this one is now going to have, not the middle signature, but the, the avocado dyed. Shall I do it? like that. Yeah, let's have some pockets on this one at the bottom. And I'll fold it. Now I can fold it. Now I fold it straight. Doesn't want to stay straight. losing so we can't hopefully I'm not completely off camera with some of this and then I am going to trim this down a bit make sure they're properly properly straight should be all right okay so that's there Trim it off a little. And it'll be this way. Not much. And the same with this. Oh, 
Okay. They can always have a bit more trim if they end up being pushed out. But as long as they're small, keep within the size of the book, that'll be fine. <clears throat> Let's see. How does that work? That's close enough. All right, so we have the three signatures. And... Let's just tidy these books up a little bit. And move them over, give myself a bit of room. All right, let's move these to one side. And we'll work on each signature getting the um, pages put together and hinged if they need it. So these are all ready to go. And these, so there's that one, and there's the easy to hold on ones. And this one, well I could just, I think the width is about right. Yeah, so I just need to trim it down a bit. So I might just do that. That's the easy win, isn't it? Just trim it a bit where it's a bit raggedy anyway. Take a bit off. Yep, that's about right. Okay, we'll deal with Edith's pages in a moment. Let's deal with these. So they're pretty large. I think I'm going to separate these and see which one I prefer. So I've got this and this. It's kind of stunning, isn't it, that one? This one's lovely as well, but I don't think it's quite the one I want. So I'll put that to one side. But what I might try and do, well, once I've cut them down, so first of all, I've got to cut them down to size, haven't I? So if I cut them approximately to the size of this one, because that is just a little bit bigger, I think. Let me have a look. Hang on, how did I get two of these in here? <laughs> what one have I forgotten to put one in? Uh, that one. So April or May. That's April, so that's got to have the one that's just been cut to size. Yes. I don't know how that ended up in the wrong pile. Right, so I just wanted to check the size of the digital. So I don't want the other other pages to be a lot bigger than that. So just a little bit taller. And the book itself, which we'll get to we'll do the cover next week. Yeah, it's plenty big enough. That's fine. Okay, so these are one, two, three, four, five, and up about five and a half by um, by eight. Right. I certainly don't want to get bigger than eight. So I thought I'd use some of this for my. Um, hinging. Ooh. Sorry, I've got I'm reaching for the wrong, the wrong uh, trimmer here. I put the one I wanted to, ready to hand, and then I was trying to get the one out of the bin where right, I keep them. Okay, let's just trim that a little bit because it's all torn at the edge. So I'm thinking. Doesn't need to be huge. Um, I need three quarters. I think I'll do. Yeah, if I do a one and a half inch piece, and then I'll cut it. I'll fold it in half, and that'll be in three quarters of an inch each side, which I think will be fine. So I'll do a few of those. Maybe I'll do... So I've decided to use these pink ones to do these books. So I've got three of those. And then I'm going to use some green, the green dyed paper, for my Edith Holden pages. So I hope that will work. 
and I cut them all to one and a half inches so when they're folded get about three quarters of either side I need them to be reasonably strong these are quite thick papers and we want them to hold together but first of all I need to cut them down um, to size don't we so I've definitely got to cut this piece off sadly we'll lose a bit of that but it's not too much actually not too bad at all um, so the each page should be about let me just check what's the width the maximum width anyway let me just check the maximum width width can't even speak um yeah about five and a half they are so yeah don't want them to be any bigger than that because they'll get pushed a little bit so maybe i'll make it just over the yeah, just up to the edge of the um, the cutter there, the trimmer. So it might be just under the five and a half. Maybe I make yeah. do it there. There we are. And then I have to cut it down. Bigger these. These are just under the eight, so I make them eight. Yep, I think that size will be good. Okay, so we have that. We have that, so actually, that looks really pretty. Then we'll do the same with this one, which is going to be harder because it's really pretty all over pattern. Okay, so we'll take off, I'll have to take some of this off, and yeah, as long as we've got the pink, I know it's not particularly spring-like. Take a little bit off this side as well to get that same width as we used for the other one. And then the height. It's going to be eight. So I'm going to do it to there. inside like that yep okay so that's that one I guess I should probably just get on and do it on the hinging so it was eight in height wasn't it so I cut my cut my piece to eight Gluing. What's the best glue to use for this? Probably the art glitter glue, though it doesn't give me any room to manoeuvre, does it? put something in the middle, perhaps some washi tape or something inside. All right, let's do this. I think I'm going to try using, yeah, I'm going to use the art glitter glue. I think it's the safest to keep it in, keep it in place. Right, 
So I'm gonna put that piece. In here. Not completely into the middle. Gonna have a little bit of wiggle room to make it that it will fold. Okay. Let's do this piece. I'll leave those to dry. I'll, I'll find some washi tapes to put in the middle, I think. Okay, that's that one done. Now we need to, mm, for, the, for the outer pages. So much as I like this, I'm not a big fan of this. It's not saying, that's not saying spring to me. I know it's very early spring, so I can't necessarily expect it. I think, I think maybe this one would be good. Or this one. Maybe that one too. If only the march was on this on the outside. I did say I could to um, take this off. Pop it on here, couldn't I? Or I could use that as my opening page. Not the most colourful though, is it? That's a bit boring as well, to be honest. I like this. Just a shame that the march is on the outside, on the inside. So I think I might go with this. I'm going to have to cut it down anyway, so I'll probably have to separate it. But I do like that. Oh, if I separate it, I could put this on the outside, can't I? Oh yeah. Never thought of that. I'm going to have to cut it down, so I have to separate it. So maybe that was, maybe that's the thing to do. Put that on the outside. To make my mind up. Maybe. Maybe I'll put this on the outside. Mm, do it like that. Hmm. Okay, let's cut them down and then decide which one goes at the front. So I like the fact that this is colourful. So maybe this is going to be the first one. Now let's see. How wide is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just too wide. I'm going to have to come in a bit. How are we doing now for size? I think we can get possibly get away with that one. Now let's make this one the same. Okay. Are they the same? Ooh, this one's still a little bit on the big side. Cut it down a little bit more there. Uh, 
Now we're doing. Yep. They are the same. Phew. I had to cut an awful lot off <laughs> to get there, but it was necessary, I'm afraid. Just keep a few of these pieces. I'll be handy later. Alright, so that was the hardest hardest part of the whole procedure was cutting down the Edith Holden pages to fit. And I've got these bits. Okay. So what's gonna go on the front? Is that gonna be on the front? Okay, we'll have this on the back. I'm going to have this on the front and I'm going to um, I'm going to tear around this because I really would like to use this I think if we ink around that, it'll sharp quite nicely on there and look as though it belongs. something behind it. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to leave it as it is because none of the others have got an extra layer behind them, have they? Um, where's the glue book gone? There it is. Okay. Ooh, should I have, ooh, no, I'm going to take that off because I think I should have put it on after the hinging. So, it'll go, more or less go in the right same place, but it might just overlap a little bit. I think that's the way I'm going to, yep, yeah, that's the way I'm going to do it. So, I need a piece of the green. However big this is, eight. Eight, eight, eight.
fold it. So I thought what I'd do is put, actually put some of this down the middle and then just put the art glitter glue around the edges. goes in here. Then we'll see, that may need to just, yeah, that's what I thought. Needs to just go over there, so I might just put a bit more glue on here, just to make sure. I didn't want the, the green hinge to overlap where I was putting mulch. So, yeah, I think that was the right thing to do. Okay, it's hinged and then I'm going to put some washi tape again down the middle. Okay, so that's the March, if you can call it that, the March signature is started. Well, it's, uh, it's prepared, it's just going to be put together. I will do the same with the other, th the other two signatures just because you've seen the process. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other two and then I'll be back. Right, so it's the next day because I ran out of time yesterday to finish this. So um, I just popped out in just to put these three signatures together. So I've done all the hinges, I've done all the um, washi tape in the middle of them. So I've done a different one for each signature. So this one has got the, the pretty blue and that's these are the two pieces that we've hinged together then the so that's the that's March April has got the wider floral washi in there and then there's this one aren't they pretty so I love this so that's that one that's March April and then we have May and this one has got the really beautiful so purpley washi tape because there's quite a lot of purple in this page and on the front. But sorry, put that up there. And also in here. So I thought the purple washi went rather well with this one. So let's just put these signatures together. Let's put May and April aside for a moment. So we have our outer cover and we've just got to find some nice find some pages to go inside so I'm just going to try and pop them in I may, may, I may move them around I think that goes nicely there and a bit of green so that's just got a little sorry I'll just move this over a bit so I'm properly Properly in screen. 
those back a bit. Right. So I've got the the green. And what should we do next? I think we need to put in some of the bird song digital in there. And what can I put in next? This one, I think. And this one I think will go nicely there. And this one. And this one I think would be okay there because then we want to put in the pink. And I think this one is going to have to be the middle because it's beautiful. So I'm just going to turn that the other way. So I need to do a bit of changing around because that's a little bit, these pages are a little bit plain, aren't they? So let's do a bit of a swapperoo. Let's do, this one's got a little bit more going on. So I'll pop that one in here. That's fine. And then that one, and then these two. So let's see how that all comes together, shall we? And so I might do a little bit of trimming up here just to make sure it's all nice and tidy, just a little bit. I'll do that off camera. Then let's do April. So we've got this one. Now let's choose our, our centre. I'm wondering whether this would make a nice centre actually. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it, as a centre? So let's put that to one side for a moment. That there, and then we might have this one. There, and what else have we got? Perhaps a a writing page and then we could have this one a bit of this lovely blue it's kind of pink on the inside what else have we got oh gotta get these in somehow haven't I let's put that one there yep that one and then this one. This one. That one. And then I think that one would be quite nice in here. Okay. I may change them around a little bit. I have a tendency to do that. But that's put them together in an order that seems to be quite uh, acceptable at the moment. And then they've got this one. Right, so let's see what we can put in here. Should we choose our middle? What should we have in the middle this time? Is there one that really stands out? Well, we have got this, which is rather lovely. I think I like that in the middle. What have we got inside here? Can we put that in there? Why not? That one. 
And let's have that green. And then that one. Well, I've got three of the pinker ones on here, have a nice let's let's pop another one of these in. Put one of these in here. change them around a little bit as I put them as I trim them and have another look but I think for now let's put those signatures together and I'll just do a little trimming just to make sure they don't stick out too much and then next time we will look at um, our cover decide how big the spine needs to be because this needs a little bit of room doesn't it so I'm thinking, let's have a look. Let's get a little ruler out. How big does our spine need to be? So if we do this. So if we do it loosely, so I'd need at least, yeah, two inches should be okay, actually. Two inches should do it. I hold it loosely. Gives us a bit of room to expand, doesn't it? Yeah, so I think two inch spine should be enough. I think we don't want to go any bigger than that. So next time I'll come back and we'll we'll make the cover and see about putting the putting these in, uh, sewing them in, um, depending on whether I need to do some more work on some of these pages. I may do. Okay, thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.